Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is vlog two of working out in Thailand. So right now doing handstand push-ups, I increased my total from five to 6.5. I had to do three half reps, well basically eccentrics and five full reps. And that's the total I came up with. So increased the total by 1.5 reps since the last time. Still working on my balance. It's taking a while to get back. I used to be able to do three in a row Eventually, I'll work back up to that. I'm actually thinking of increasing my handstand push-up sessions because it's more of a... Yes, there's a lot of strength involved in handstand push-ups, but the, the balance aspect of the skill, you have to work on a lot in order to get it ingrained in your body. So yeah, thinking of adding more handstand push-up sessions into my weekly workouts this week i actually got food poisoning for the second time in the row unfortunately so i'm still feeling a little weak and i actually had to travel a lot too so i had to skip my nordic hamstring curl workout on monday but you'll be seeing that again in the next workout vlog now i feel like i'm not using my upper back muscles as much as i should be and I feel like once I activate my upper back muscles a lot more, then I should be able to have a little bit of a straighter handstand instead of a huge banana handstand. All right, now moving on to the pull-ups. I'm actually regressing back to normal pull-ups because I'm dealing with an overuse injury for my right elbow. But what I realized is that I can still train one-arm chin-ups with my left side. It's a lot harder now than... It was before because I'm about 10 pounds heavier, but I'm expecting to lose a lot of weight just due to the fact that I'm in Thailand and the diet in Thailand is a lot lighter than an American diet. Whenever I go to Thailand, I, I usually lose a ton of weight and I get really skinny. So there's that, but I'm actively trying to fight against that. But regressing these pull-ups was nice. I, I didn't really feel much pain the next day in my right elbow. So... I'm just going to keep increasing the amount of reps that I do for the pull-ups and sets. Maybe I'll make it to 5x5 five five and start adding some weight in there. Alright, moving on to the dips. Increasing 1.25 kilograms, so it was 17.5 kilograms last time. I actually decreased the amount of reps per set to 3 from 5. So these felt really easy. Uh, I only needed 3 minutes of rest in between sets usually with strength workouts if you're not resting anywhere from three to five minutes in between sets uh and you're finding it really really easy you probably should increase the intensity or the amount of weight that you're putting on the bar or on yourself it felt good to do these though so the last time i actually failed out of five by five at 17.5 kilograms and that's why I decreased the reps down from five to three and these feel good right now my only goal for these dips is just to get to a high intensity I'm not sure where I want to stop I'll probably just go to a three by three while increasing the weights and then when I finally fail eventually at a three by three I'll go back to a 5x5 five five with a slightly higher weight than last time. Alright, so new ab curl variation here. I felt like this was very, very effective. Uh, this is my first time doing this variation. Just thought of it on the spot. It really helped my abdominals and my obliques to stretch out fully all the way down. And then I could contract all the way up. And this was actually extremely tough due to the balance and strength aspect i feel like i should have moved the pull-up bar down a little bit more because i feel like it was too high up then i could anchor my feet a little bit more stably but yeah I'm, I'm very very happy with this variation and i think i'll keep it up and eventually start loading it with weight yeah my abs feel sore even today it was great now i wonder if my abs felt sore just because it was a new variation but I really do feel that this variation was very, very effective at both stretching and strengthening my abdominals. You can see how much I'm struggling here just to rep some out. Cool. 
Well, that's it for this workout vlog. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment down below.